Hello, I'm Matthew from OpenResty Inc. Today I'd demonstrate how to write your Lua modules in your OpenResty applications, step by step. Let's put our simple OpenResty application in a new directory named test module. And then we create the subdirectory structure as always. Note that unlike the hello world example in our previous tutorial, we create a Lua directory here to hold our Lua module files. Now let's create our own Lua module file named hello.lua under the Lua subdirectory. Declare the Lua module table underscore M. Now add a function named greet to this Lua module. Finally, don't forget to return the module table in the end. That's it. A very simple Lua module is done now. Let's save and quit. Now it's time to create the nginx.conf file. We write the boilerplate configuration quickly. In the HTTP configuration block, we should tell OpenResty where our Lua modules reside. Note the special variable dollar $prefix is replaced by the nginxp option value at runtime. Then we create an HTTP server listening on the 8080 port. And a root location with content by Lua block. Here we load our Lua module hello with the require built-in function. We call its greet function with an argument. Now finish it up. Save and quit. Let's check the whole directory tree right now. Looking good. Now start this open resty application. Time to query our HTTP interface with the curl command line utility. Cool. Our Lua module is working. We can also test it in a web browser. If you see 500 error page, then there must be an error in your Lua code. In this case, you should check the error.log file under the log subdirectory. Here we don't have any errors logged, as expected. It's worth noting that our Lua module is loaded in this first request and subsequent requests will just use the cache Lua module in memory. To avoid the extra overhead in the first request, we can preload the Lua module upon server startup. To do this, we should edit the nginx.conf file a bit. We add an init by Lua block directive right here. And load our Lua module in this context. The init by Lua block runs when the OpenResty server starts up. Save and quit. Test if the configuration is same. Good. Now we reload the server by sending the hub signal to the nginx master process. The master process's ID is stored in this nginx.pid file. Send the HTTP request again. Same behavior, just a little bit faster this time. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.